King of Sports. New Japan Pro Wrestling. Welcome everyone to New Japan Strong. Ian Riccoboni, Alex Kozlov on the Ignition Tour in Hollywood, California. Alex, we have the final of the A Block here tonight in the New Japan Strong Open Weight Tag Team Championship Tournament. Man, I, I'm so excited that we're getting closer and closer to crowning new Strong Open Weight Tag Team Champions. This is where it's at. And Christopher Daniels, who has been magic, absolute magic in the tag team division, whether it's Ring of Honor, whether it's Impact, whether it's in New Japan, former IWGP Junior Tag Team Champion with Brian Danielson, he's teaming with Yuya Yurimura to take on TMDK. And I'll tell you what, TMDK has got to be the heavy favorites right here, but if anybody can bring up a tag team partner to his level, Christopher Daniels might be that guy. We might see Cinderella turn the, the pumpkin into the carriage here tonight. We'll see, we'll see. And like you said, Christopher Daniels certainly can create magic and the way that he's been uh, guiding Yui Yamura. Uh, let's see what happens. Huge six-man match here tonight. Negro Casas, a legend, over 40 years of experience, a man who's wrestled in New Japan, CMLL, all over the world, a bona fide Hall of Famer. Well, he's leading a team here tonight of Lucas Riley and Adrian Quest to take on a man who he trained in Rocky Romero, a man who he's fought his father in David Finley, and one of the best high flyers around, Mascara Dorada. It's gonna be a huge six-man tag team bout, Alex. Yeah, Negro Casas, what a treat to have him here on Strong. A legend, a friend, a mentor. This is gonna be good. Yeah, and I, I talk about you being biased with Team Filthy. Negro Casas helped train you, Alex, so uh, maybe, uh, you know, maybe try, try to be as objective as possible. I'd like to say that, you know, I've learned from him and uh, maybe he's learned from me. And in our opening contest, Alex, a really exciting moment. Jordan Cruz debuting here on New Japan Strong. You've seen him on AEW Rampage, AEW Dark. He's going to take on J.R. Kratos. And when you take on J.R. Kratos, you're facing a monster. That's right. And it's not just any monster. It's a monster that's always hungry for fresh, organic meat especially with what's been going on with Alex Coglin, the android. So let's waste no more time. Let's get to our opening contest right here on New Japan Strong. Welcome everyone to the Ignition Tour. Hollywood, California, Ian Riccoboni, Alex Kozlov. Got Ricky Bones and the Cos coming at you. And we got a debut coming at you right now. And this uh, young man, 25 years old from California, was discovered at an LA dojo camp has wrestled for uh, championship wrestling. And he's really been on the list of prospects that New Japan has wanted to get in the door here. Been featured recently on AEW Rampage. In fact, he's the United Wrestling Network's champion. That's a title that's been held by Sean Waltman, Adam Pearce, Scorpio Sky, Willie Mack, Royce Isaacs of New Japan Strong. So, I mean, that has been a, a real catapult into stardom for those athletes, but you talk about catapults, I, I can't help but think of a man that could physically catapult you across the ring. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is uh, a beast uh, that is J.R. Kratos, and he's always hungry. And, you know, he's had all this beef. You know, he's still not over that loss to Alex Coughlin. They're continuing to, you know, they have some unfinished business. Oh, that and, might be an understatement. We saw it in Philly. They were at each other's throats once again. This is gonna be quite a task for Jordan Cruz. Make no mistakes about it, Cruz is on the right path. We talked about 
that United Wrestling Network Championship. I mean, that's, we've seen wrestlers win that and their careers take off. We've seen them win that and, and compete here and be very successful. I mean, hard to say uh, you're on the right path when your path leads you to J.R. Kratos. <laughs> well, that's why Kevin Kelly left the territory, went to Japan. He was afraid of this guy. He let his son take over. Well, look, as, as long as you don't repeat the mistakes of your daddy, show respect to Team Filthy's J.R. Kratos. Wow, well, that Be I do. Be respectful. Recognize his strengths. Don't talk badly. J.R. Kratos is a yes sir, no sir kind of guy for me and probably stay that way for a very long time. Well, this will be an interesting counter. I wonder what Jordan Cruz is thinking right now. What's going through his head as he takes a look at the monster that just oh. surged on him. All 300 pounds. My goodness. Oh, God. Hey, we're seeing. Oh, my God. We're seeing some hard hitting action here Whoa. on Strong and in the G1, but I don't think we'll see anything harder than that as Kratos just about knocked Cruz out of his, out of his boots. That oh, was God. the scariest thing I've ever seen. Man, we were uh, having a laugh, having a ha ha, and boy, that snapped me back Man. in shape. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that, uh, I'm did still that... trying to recover from that because we were on the side. I saw the eyes in Kratos as he charged Cruz. Oh my God. They've just collapsed his jaw into his Adam's apple with that. What? Did you hear that? Hard, vicious forearm. And referee cover one. He, he's got to check. I, I rarely say he's got to check on Cruz. He might be out. I mean, he, did you see how hard he came across that jaw with the bone of the elbow? Absolutely incredible. This may be a setback in the career of Jordan Cruz. Very dangerous. Well, you talked about. Unfortunate predicament. Yeah, you, you talked about not wanting to get in the ring with Kratos. But I'll tell you the flip side. When opportunity knocks, you can't turn it down. And sometimes, ooh, sometimes your first mountain's the biggest mountain. And Cruz in the deep end, he's fighting right back. He's back to his feet. Kratos, oh. though, sends him back down. Ooh. Well, uh, Cruz showed uh, some uh, heart, some grit with that overhand slap. But Jared Kratos is just having his way with Jordan Cruz here. Then lifting up, oh, oh man. God. Hooking the leg, cover two, and a kick out. And I'm sure Kratos is familiar with Cruz. Kratos, a, a cerebral athlete, watches the tape of his opponents. Look at, look at these hard, heavy elbows that he's dropping, those knees to the side of the temple. So dangerous. And is Jared Kratos. And I think kicking out just made Kratos even angrier here. As Kratos winding up, nobody home there. Oh! Ooh. And it's Cruz with an opening. Wow. Look at the agility there. Big drop kick from Cruz in our opener here. Can Cruz gain some momentum here? Charging in, up and over to the outside in the right corner. Oh, okay. Cruz, forearm. He might get back in this, up, up to the top. It's Cruz. Wow. Catches him, but Jared Kratos still standing. Just absorbs it. Now Cruz connecting on Kratos. And another. Off the ropes, ducks the clothesline. Cruz. Hurricanrana. But still on his feet. Sending Kratos to the corner. What else does he has to do? Sizing him up. Charging oh, in. Oh, man. Wow. Just about took his head off. And Kratos is uh, preparing to mount some dangerous, dangerous offense. Oh. And that is well over 300 oh. pounds. Sending Cruz down. The best big man in the business. It's almost like the temperature of the room changes when this guy walks in. 
leading Cruz, just dragging him back to his feet, manhandling him like he's like a children's toy. Wow. Cruz spins. Oh! Out. Two. And that's it. I mean, what else? What else can you expect? Big victory for Kratos, who's got Alex Coglin on the mind. Jordan Cruz, a lot of heart. Unfortunately, coming up on the losing end of the equation here tonight, Jared Kratos or Victor Alex. I mean, I've not seen him so focused, so vicious. It looked like a million bucks. Still to come, the semifinals of the tag team tournament. Coming up next, six-man tag action, but Kratos has the microphone. Well, he's not, he, he said something, but he didn't say anything into the mic there. Alex. Yeah, that's right, who? Alex, you hear that? You stop! <laughs> so do you. So do you. I want you to shut the hell up. You know, seriously, these fans need to show some respect. Alex, I want you in Charlotte in a last man standing match. Oh, me and you, bitch. Ooh, man, Ian. Last man standing, are you kidding me? Challenge laid out for, it, for Charlotte, North Carolina. And Alex Coughlin, he's gonna make a decision. Does he lay it all on the line? Does the android lay it all on the line? Or does he live to fight another day? Because you either win and, and are better for it, or, or you might not walk into a New Japan strong ring again. Coming up next, six man tag team action. Oh, wow. oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Ian, I am so excited. This has got to be a thrill for you, Alex. I mean, you know, for me, I mean, the all-time greats is leading our first team down to the ring, but he's he's somebody special to you, Alex. I mean, this is a friend. This has been a mentor to me in Mexico. You know, a mentor to so many people. He's been around for, he's been wrestling for 47 years, and the most charismatic, the most amazing, Luchador. Thank you, Legend, legend Ian. With no hyperbole, we can say Negro Casas is one of the greatest of all time really responsible for launching the current popular cruiserweight, welterweight, you name it, style of some of the, the lighter, faster, smaller wrestlers in that Lucha Libre style. Him and Fuerza Guerrero were really uh, instrumental and, and pioneers in that space beginning into the 80s and really kind of revolutionized a lot of what you see not only in Lucha, but also here in New Japan and a style that you and Rocky Romero wrestled. And it's interesting, because you said he, he was one of your trainers at one point. He's going to be facing one of his trainees on the other side. And the man's entrance video we're seeing right now, he is 2-0 against his father, Fit Finley. Negro Casas has beat Fit Finley twice, and now he must step in the ring with his son. Well, of course. I mean, Negro Casas was so much better than uh, David Finley. Oh, father. come on. Better watch it. Finley's got that shillelagh now, Alex. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, look at that Rocky. The king of the ropes. Rocky Romero has had his success, much like Negro Casas in New Japan, CMLL, all over the world. And Finley looking in phenomenal shape. A couple of weeks ago, we saw him on AEW Dynamite. Great to see him there. That, that little bit of a harder edge, more aggressive edge from Finley, you know. Juice Robinson turned his back on the world. Still, he won't answer Finley's phone calls. Text just left him hanging. That's got to hurt. When he joined both of them. That's almost worse than turning your back on somebody in the ring because he's just leaving them on unread. Look, uh, the, the Bullet Club family is, you know, it, it's a family like no other, you know? People wouldn't understand. People wouldn't understand. But man, Ian, this is going to be an exciting match. I'm so excited to see Negro Casas make his strong debut here in Hollywood. And of course, Finley wants a piece of Negro yeah. Casas because, well, a little payback for his father. Long-standing family rivalry. Negro Casas 2-0 against Fit Finley, David Finley's father, in the New Japan ring, no less. Unbelievable. Yeah. 47-year veteran. Say Connor about tie up here. It, it's incredible as we see Finley taking the leg of Negro Casas. You know, of course, Negro Casas also had a hand in training TJP, who's the rival of Mascara Dorada. That's right. And very famously partnered with El Hijo de Santos. As we see a hammerlock here. And Finley, I mean, that was some years ago. That was 30 years ago. I wonder if that's still, you think Fit Finley called him up and said, hey, we'll get this one for me. Especially with Father's Day just passing. Yeah, I'm sure he's watching and hoping yeah. that his son can avenge those losses. And so far, he's doing good. Yeah. And we're seeing, seeing shades of that amateur background there as he shot the half out of the, the hammerlock there. Tag made, Mascara Dorada. And yeah, you're right, Alex. He, he really took the early advantage there. He uh, played to his strengths, you know, uh, that uh, collegiate wrestling. Uh, he used it and it worked well for him. And Adrian Quest getting in the ring uh, to face off against the king of the ropes, Mascar Dorada. Truly, Mascar Dorada is one of the best high flyers in the world. It certainly is. We see Quest at Bermuda Streetwear, man of multi talents. Drops down, rolls through. Quest so fast in the ring, so oh, explosive. 30 corkscrew. Beautiful. And instantly grounds Dorada, and his strategy working quite nicely here. As David Finley chiming in there. Ooh. Ducks the clothesline. Lucas Riley, another uh, young upstar here, uh, showing his uh, drive. Wow, oh, man. Dorada plants him down. And it's so exciting to see guys like Lucas Riley as we see a cover here one, because each time we see them, you can tell how much effort they're putting in. Guys like Lucas Riley, he's a little bit more muscular. He's a little bit faster. He's a little bit more able to counter moves quickly as we see a tag to Rocky Romero for the first time. So you can tell for most athletes, they get a taste of New Japan strong and they work and work and work to get their way back here. As we see Rocky Romero off the ropes, drop down, basement drop kick there. Little Asukar action from Rocky Romero. Fan favorite here in Hollywood. I don't know why. Oh, well, I can tell you why. Former champion in CMLL in New Japan, IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion, ROH World Tag Team Champion with you, Alex. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know why you treat your partner so bad on commentary. And now Rocky, uh, <laughs> the Irish whip to Lucas You're Riley, going for the forever hole, forever clotheslines, but they're never forever, are they? Not even one. Well, here comes Riley with a page out of Romero's play, but countered. Wow. wow. Stops the just and gets the suplex. How about that? And you, you just ignored me like Juice Robinson's been ignoring David Finley. It hurts, doesn't it? Tag made, Negro Casas in, and in the New Japan Dojo, you were telling me a story 
Alex about how Negro Casas would come up and, and be a guest trainer and train you in Rocky in Mexico as well. That's right, he would come to Arena Mexico every Friday and uh, you know, from time to time he would show us how to do certain things and these two men are no strangers to each other. And Negro Casas is known for his uh, lung capacity and conditioning, he can go. Into the corner, here comes the forever close lines. Gets one on Negro Casas. And, and another. Two. Out of the way. Look at this. Oh! Whoa. And Casas going to work. Look at those four consecutive boots to the face. And he's going to go for his signature. Oh. Back in the corner. Oh. And the way he swings his hip back out to get maximum impact may have collapsed the sternum of Rocky Romero there as the knees deliver. Tag made and back in is Lucas Riley. We've seen some great continuity and teamwork here, particularly between Riley and Negro Casas. Oh, oh wow! Running shooting star One, press. Two. Finley uh, just uh, impatient to get in that ring, wanting to avenge all those losses wow. of his father. There we see Lucas Riley as Rocky Romero up. Wow. And out of the outside on the apron, it's Riley, but a great tag by Quest into the cover. Two. Smart move there by Adrian Quest to make the blind tag and immediately go for the cover. Cover, one, two, and I've always wondered this, in these six-man tags, Alex, you've been in many. How disorienting is it when there's people tagging in, coming out? What's that like? It's very hard to catch your breath. It's very hard to gather yourself, to find a way out. And right two. now, Adrian Quest, Lucas Riley, and Negro Costas are doing a wonderful job isolating and wearing Rocky down. Tag made. Casas. Negro Casas, did you know that his father was the creator, the inventor of the La Magistral? Really? Is that what they call it? La Casita? They call it La Casita. It's that very same move where you trap the arm and you cradle your opponent. And that's how Negro Casas has won most of his matches in his career. Look at that, going for the Diablo armbar on Rocky Romero. I wouldn't be surprised if Negro uh, taught Rocky Romero how to apply that correctly. Yeah. Wrist lock. Of course, Negro Casas really put the CMLL World Middleweight Championship on the map. Reign of nearly 900 days. He talked about his battles with Fuerza Guerrero. But I mean, uh, he's, I mean, over the course of his career, he's collected like 19, captured 19 <laughs> championships. A legendary winner of many hair versus hair matches. Absolutely. Look at this, and look at this. Stomping away, not afraid to bend the rules though either. Well, you know. When it, it suits him. You know, in Mexico, they bend the rules all the time. It's normal, they're very good at it. Well, I've, I've called a few CMLL events, our partners at CMLL in the action. You know, they, they let them fight down there. They let them fight in CMLL. Has Negro Casas there with knee to the midsection. Off the ropes. Rocky, though. Catches him with a European and a hard over. That hard right hand knocking Negro Casas down. But he fell in the wrong direction. Can he make his way to the red corner here to make the tag? Rocky does. Mascara Dorada, the king of ropes. Crossbody. Oh. Ooh. And the crafty veteran, the Hall of Famer. Oh. And Casas just. Let's him have it as he goes for the clothesline. Whoa! Hurricane Rana. Hard to keep up with Musker Dorada. He's so good. Using those ropes to his advantage. Whoa. Like so. Drop kick to the chest. Cover. One, two. And Lucas Riley able to break it up. It's David Finley now sending Riley to the outside. Uh, Finley's getting frustrated. Certainly is. He's has Casas up. Maybe he wants a piece of Casas. Back elbow there. Off the ropes. Oh, man, that was a vicious drop kick to the knee. 
And that, uh, that's a good strategy with a guy like uh, Mascar Dorado, who needs his legs. Because on the ropes is where he feels at home. And both men needed a tag, and it's Finley and Adrian Queston. Irish whip off the ropes, reversed by Finley. Finley has Quest. Oh, look at this. Wow. Tried to lawn dart him. Instead, it's counter Quest with a drop kick. Finley into the corner. And Quest follows him in, up and over to the apron. It's Quest. Counters Finley. Outside, in for Quest. Caught by Finley. Finley sends oh, him across man. the knee. And you got to, we've been seeing a more aggressive side of David Finley. I mean, he is more vicious oh, than before. Look at this. Strong zero. Strong zero on Adrian Quest. Hooks the leg. Two. You're absolutely right. Finley has been on a, in a different gear as of late. A little bit more aggressive. In the best shape he's been in in quite some time. But Rocky Romero, the legal man here. Rocky has taken Adrian under his wing in the past. Friendly relationship here, looking for the Shiranoi. No! Oh! What a high kick. Carl Rocky might have turned the off button off there. Tag made. Wow. Lucas Riley knocking Finley. Oscar the rod off the apron, and now it's Lucas Riley, Negro Casas, and Adrian Quest putting the work on Rocky Romero. Three on one situation here. Beautiful Whoa. work. And up to the top, Lucas Riley. Oh, sent on off the top. Hooks the leg, cover. Two. Ooh. And everything about that was right. The sent on, the positioning of the cover. It took Finley and Dorada. To break it up, and now it's Watch Dorada. Out. Wow! Suicide dive taking the Gracasas on the outside. And now it's Rocky Romero and Lucas Riley, the legal man in that ring. And Riley connects with a European uppercut. Gets his momentum. momentum. Springboard. Rocky able to push him off. Ducks the clothesline. Oh! Spins him inside out. And Chernoy hooks the leg. One. One. Got oh. him. What a match. What a match. Rocky Romero taking the win for his team. And Rocky leading his team. It's got to be satisfying for him. We know he's been on the quest. The IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship, he's won it once. But it says Black Tiger on the title. And we know that he's been looking for one last shot to get that championship back to put his name, to put Rocky Romero on the list of winners. Great effort from Adrian Quest. Lucas Riley really impressed me here tonight. Mascara Dorada showed that he's the Hall of Famer that we all know he is. And Rocky bringing Negro Casas back in the ring. Look at this, there seems to be a little rift between Rocky Romero and Negro Casas. Well, this might be a long stand. And look at that, Negro Casas is pointing at Finley. A rivalry that dates back generations at this point. And Rocky might be trying to negotiate some peace here. I mean, that, that would be a great matchup. I wouldn't mind seeing Negro Casas back in New, J in New Japan's strong ring. Yeah. Maybe a match with Rocky Romero. I mean, how awesome would that be? That would be incredible. Rocky bowing, taking a bow in honor of Negro Casas. And David Finley saying we, we beat you. But Negro Casas, look at this as he rightfully deserves. Getting his moment in the sun here. What a great debut here on New Japan Strong. The first, hopefully not the last time we see him. And fans still to come, our main event, our first semifinal in the tournament to crown the first ever New Japan Strong Openweight Tag Team Champions right here on New Japan Strong. So, so.
so soy, 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 so so soy, 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 so so soy, 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 so so soy. Tokon Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, Papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. Main event time here, week three of the Ignition Tour. I spent a lot of time this week going back and forth in my mind. Will it be the veteran team or will it be the element of surprise? Can the upstart team I'm a Hall of Famer in Christopher Daniels, and a man who is well on his way to carving out a New Japan career for the ages, defeat a team who's been the Tokyo Sports Tag Team of the Year. There are arguments for both teams here in our main event, Alex, but when I look at this team, I don't see a crack in their armor. I don't see a weakness. Oh, Of course, CMJK had an incredible match, hard fought victory over the West Coast Wrecking Crew to advance tonight to face Yuya and Daniels. And I gotta say, these guys, you know, they are the most insane tag team I've seen. They're ruthless. Once they smell blood in the water, they will not stop it. Two-time UFC Tag Team Champions in NOAA, and now tearing it up here in New Japan. New Japan strong. And this will be a great, great test for Christopher Daniels and Yuya. Well, take nothing away from them. They got to the second round. This was a team that wasn't even supposed to be together at the beginning of the tournament. Yuya Yuramura stepped in for Carl Fredericks, who was unable to compete. Christopher Daniels hand-picked Yuya, and it was Fredericks who got Daniels into this tournament to begin with. So, to me, they're playing with house money at this point. There is no expectations, and that can make you very dangerous. And if you're familiar with history, you gotta wonder will history repeat itself? 
Christopher Daniels team with Donovan Morgan to win the first ever Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship. He has excelled in tournaments ever since. But getting a jump start on things, our TMD key. Well, they're starting off really aggressive. They're not wasting any time. Chopping away at Yui Yomura. Asserting their dominance. And they've seen just how good the flashes of brilliance Yuya has had. A great move by Daniel, stopping his own partner. As we finally get one on one in the ring, Jeremy Marcus calling for the bell as Uemura and Daniels in there with Shane Haste. Double hip toss. Beautiful maneuver. How about that? Wow, great combination. Double team flapjack. And they are finding fast chemistry here. They are, they are. I mean, the one thing that I would say is Yu Yamura has not been in a lot of high cooker uh, pressure situations such as this. And can he follow the game plan to the T? Because I know that Christopher Daniels has got a game plan. He's been in this situation. He knows what to do. Can Yu Yamura stick to the plan? Look at that big elbow from Daniels. Cover one, two. Whether it's his teams in Impact Wrestling, where he's an eight-time tag team champion. His success in Ring of Honor, where he's a four-time tag team champion, or even here in New Japan, former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion with Brian Danielson. I mean, this man has, has been to the top of the mountain in singles and tag team wrestling, but he's one of the all-time great tag team wrestlers, period. No doubt about it. And I gotta say, Christopher Danielson and Yuya Moore are looking amazing. Working very well as a team. Looking the leg cover, two. There's gonna be no shame for either man if they come up short here today against TMDK because they are the prohibitive favorite, I, I believe in my mind, despite this early flurry of offense from Uemura and Daniels. Oh, nice elbow though. Dropping down with the elbow. Uemura connects again. Close the leg. Two. Stay on him, stay on him. Pull him away. Pull him away. Well, Yuya certainly knows how to bring the fight. The, he only lacks experience, but he has the fighting spirit in him. I think about the hard hitting matches against Brody King, against Killer Cross. I mean, those are those are no slouches. Those are violent, violent men. And he went toe to toe with both of them. And he's still here, still fighting. Irish whip now. Double reversal. Oh, come on. Oh, Mikey Nichols, look at this. Oh, God. Team DK at their best. When they're at their worst. Taking advantage of whatever opportunity comes their way. Including biting Uemura there. You're, you're allowed up to five fights. You can't bite. No. Get out the rule. Let's see the rule book. Let's see what it says in there. Beautiful knee by Mickey Nichols. Five bites. Come on, you're not allowed to do this either. Oh, oh and oh God! Yuya Moore is busted open. Give him a bloody nose. It must have been uh, on the apron when they drove him into that apron. Now look at this! Oh, that big chops. Nichols sends him down though. Nichols is no small man, six feet two inches tall. And again, going back to that bleeding nose. Now look, I mean, Yuya Yamura, he's still, he, he's known to keep fighting. He's got that drive, he's got that heart, but it's very hard to breathe when you're bleeding from your nose. It's harder to breathe. You're gonna start to breathe through your mouth and you're gonna get winded. Irish whip in, double back elbow. And here's the signature TMDK oh. combination. Standing moonsault, fist drop, nailed it. And as somebody that's had a deviated septum who, who's played baseball with it, I, I in college, I, I understand. I feel the pain right now that, that Yui is in. I may have never been in the ring, but I know just, like you said, the difficulty just doing simple things like breathing, that's been compromised right now. And no sympathy shown by Shane Hayes as he was oh. pulling on the nose. Trying to damage that. Look at those kicks. Yeah, just picking a spot. Yuya, though, firing back. Oh! And he got all of six feet tall up in the air on that one. Cover two. Just a two count. Christopher Daniels 
In the red corner, outstretched hand, making noise, trying to get Yuya. You see the outstretched arm of Yuya, the, the blood flowing from the nose. Into the corner, haste! Into Nichols. Look at the strength of Nichols. Oh! oh. Cover, two! And Daniels trying to get Yuya back into this. Having no choice, he had to get in the ring and break that. Well, that tag team move, I mean, there's so many moves that, that TMDK could hit you with. There's a tank buster, which they won their first round out with. They have the Thunder Valley. I mean, it, and they have combinations just like that that will catch you off guard and can get you down for the pin. If you give them an inch, they will take a mile. As Haste just driving the forearms down, and you is disoriented at this point. Oh, how about that? A counter, though. Finding just enough mental wherewithal. Yui is only feet away from Christopher Daniels. Can he make it? And he makes the tag. And Nichols staying in to fight Daniels. Daniels, the freshest man of the match, who's watched his partner from the corner absorb blow after blow. Patrick Chahis with a back body drop. Oh, look at that, those jabs. Irish over in the corner. Oh, STO on Nichols. Sending him to the outside. It's haste, back elbows. He's doing everything uh, he can to fly off. Catches him. Blue Thunderbomb. And haste, not the legal man. It is still Nichols. Oh, call for it. Over the Angels' wings. He's won world titles with this counter. Counter by Nichols. Close, close. Has it, Spinebuster. And Nichols. Hooks the leg. Two. Wow. Close there. And Yui Yamura still recovering. And here we see Nichols. Oh, oh man, great execution. Tank Buster should be One, it. Two. two. Oh, wow. Kicking out of their finishing move. Daniels with a lot of heart right now. Does he have enough energy, though, stamina? I mean, it's it's one thing to kick out of one big move. He's, he was the freshest man in the match. Up and over. Does he have enough to get the momentum here? Daniels sending Nichols. Haste, nobody home misses. Yuya's in the corner. Yuya makes the tag. Where'd he come from? Oh! Planning haste. Back elbow sends him down. Nichols sent down to the mat. Clearing houses Yuya Yamura. Fighting both members of TMTK. He's got no choice if they want to advance to Charlotte. The challenge to be one of the final two for the New Japan Strong Open. We tag team champions. Off the rope. Catches him with a drop kick. Oh, look at this, Yuya. Traps the arms. Wow. Hooks the leg. Two. Hey, Jeremy Marcus in perfect position. Only gets two there as the blood continues to pour from the nose of Yuamura like a fountain, but Yuamura not letting it deter him as he goes to the outside. Nichols follows him in. Yuamura is in deep water right now. This is when the rubber meets the road. Look at this. And Uemura. Oh, my planted God. Planted down. Puts haste on top. Two. Oh. Yuya Uemura somehow able to lift that shoulder off the mat to the surprise of Team DK. And there is no give in this man. This young man who continues his excursion. The fans rallying behind him here. Looking oh. to finish him with Christopher Daniels for the save. Oh, and 
He may have sacrificed himself here as he is oh. now on the receiving end. He is out. Of that pendulum. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Mara. Are you kidding me? Frankensteiner hooks the leg. Two. two. Excuse me? Did Yuya Yamura just pull out the victory against and, TMTK? And, and Christopher Daniels, when this tournament started, said he there was only one man with the heart, the fire, the never give up attitude like Carl Fredericks has. And he said it was Yuya. <laughs> And every time he was down, he got right back up in the Frankensteiner into the pin. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Well, Cinderella will ride into Charlotte in the glass carriage with the diamond shoe. But will the clock strike midnight when they do indeed get to Charlotte? Will the magic run out? As they punch their ticket to the finals of the tournament that crowned the first ever strong tag team champions. What a victory here, fans. Thank you for joining us on this week on New Japan Strong. For Alex, I'm Ian. Happy wrestling, everybody. Join us next week.